did it behind closed doors. I'm sure if she wanted it broadcasted, she would have said it. So oh, okay. I just want her to know that I appreciate her oh, okay. her help in getting me on a plane. Okay, because if she was, if she was, I mean, you know, this this is going to be posted in the group. So I just wanted to make sure that you know she heard it. But I'm I'm sure if yeah. she if she's in if she's in that group, then of course she's going to hear it. So shout out to you, uh, young lady, for for coming through. Um, you know, there's it's just unfortunate that it's not that many people that come through, and they and they come. You know, a lot of people come through for for people on some lot a uh, lot less shit. You know what I'm saying? And yes. this right here, I mean, this right here, you you legitimately, you know, you was legitimately in a in a in a fucked up situation, and I and, was, and people that and people that's in a lot less situation than you, still comes through, you know, come through big, and it's like, how, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, right, yeah, okay, but uh, shout out to her. So, CR England, man, they, they, they this this from start from start to finish, this this is all this is all bullshit, and and it's some and and we still got some 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 people there that that praise CR England, like they they say CR England is the best, like we make money and this that and the third, and but they they doing. They doing shit like this. Like, I understand, yeah. you know, your I understand, you know, people who drive for CR England. I understand that's your experience with them, but come on. Mine's was horrible. Her hers this this experience right here was fucking horrible. I, you know, I, and like I said, it got it got me I'm it got me emotional and 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 listening to all of this and how they you know how how they uh how how they held you back and 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 did all this shit to you, man. So, wow. So, did you after getting home? Did CR England? Well, I just got home this morning. Okay, so you got uh, home. Yes, they did contact me. So you got home this morning. Did CR England yes. reach out to you? And if they did, what they say? When was I coming back? Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, I'm uh, under contract. Uh, so when am I coming back? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good luck with that contract. I hope you said that. It wasn't even worth it. I just hung up. <laughs> Hell, you know what? I'm gonna put. You know what? I'm gonna put my hand clap sound sound bite on on this yeah don't don't let them fuck them you know don't don't let them intimidate you there there is way better companies that 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 treat you a hell of a lot better than they did man they you you don't need to you don't need to suggest yourself to to their standards just because you are quote unquote under contract i i know many of people that's quote unquote under contract that's no longer worth them because of because of the bullshit that they pull i mean it's 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 unbelievable and it's fucking crazy that they are able to still be in business like this but of course they they figure they get you you know they get you in a in a pack of 30 and then you know maybe out that 30 maybe about 15 of you and then out that 15 maybe all they just need is 10 you know what i'm saying so they 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 ain't worried they they not worried too much about you you know as far as you leaving you know this this was a blessing sure this 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 was a blessing in disguise it, it's just the fact that you know you were smart enough you were smart enough to see all that bullshit beforehand before you actually got with the company and start experiencing more bullshit that they would have put on you yeah i mean i have another co-worker who actually got on a truck finally mm -hmm. they had him driving a truck with the engine brakes kept going out mm -hmm. and he was driving with one mirror <laughs> wow keena man like 
that, that that's 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 crazy. Um, I'm glad that you are right because anything any anything would have liable to happen to a you know to a young lady out there. You know, you could have got kidnapped. You could have got snatched up. Yeah. You 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 could have been you you could have been you know snatched up and not seen again. You know, and it was just unfortunate. They didn't care. It was just unfortunate that you had to go that you had to go through that with no kind of help at all. You know, no kind no kind of help at all. And and this is just an experience that you that you want to share for other females that might be thinking about going to uh see our England and and they might want to you know change their minds <laughs> in, yeah, in, in, really in, in considering Even, see our England go ahead yeah they I, I i would say they should even to you know after after this situation of what i went through Someone sent me the link of an assault that happened on that very same campus. So the fact that they have no support for women, no support really for anybody, because the other gentleman, he was a, a male and his truck was, he, he, he left. So I wouldn't recommend the company for anybody. They don't care about the people. They just care about the money. Well, it don't sound like they care about the money, especially if they're not giving it to you. Are you, are are you, um, are are you still inspecting a paycheck from them, a, a settlement for from them? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's supposed to come on the eleventh, but I'm not holding my breath. Man, Kena, again. At this point, I'm just trying to find. Another company, I'm, I'm not going to say they deterred me from my dream because it was, it is definitely a dream for me to be in this industry and even to have a supportive family and my supportive husband to help me go across the country. You know, I'm sure he was very upset and it, it, it scares me now because if you have the option to just leave me across the country, who, what other companies do this? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, See, there's see this happens. This happens to a lot of new people all the time, and they, you know, some of them don't want to don't don't want to get this get this valuable information out there, and they should. You know, this happened to another young lady that was with a company in the she trucking trucking group. Uh, she reached out to you know she reached out to the group to tell her story, and uh, one of one of my one of my good female friends. Uh, trucking buddies reached out to her and told her to get a hold of me and i i told her you know when she did get a hold of me you know we talked for a little bit but it just came it was just something strange with that conversation between me and her because you know she was she was more in a group you know telling the group that she needed money she needed uh you know she needed money and and all like that and when you know when my when my trucking buddy got a hold of me to reach out to her it was like look let's let's you know let's get this information out there so that other people will know that you know other people will know that you what you went through and it was just so strange right. that she didn't want it she didn't want to talk about it she just wanted to say you know send me money send me money and then when i went back to the group or when i went back to my trucking buddy to express my my concerns about that yeah she mm -hmm. she actually uh went back and found out that she was trying to she was trying to manipulate the people in there just to just to give her money and everything and that was and that was crazy and that's why i guess there was some reservations now when we get stories like you know like yours which yours is legitimate yeah. it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to get that legitimacy out there because you got other people like her you know coming in with the bullshit so right so Man, again so again if that per hmm? no i was saying that's why i said you know i'm glad somebody had faith 
and and help you know and it was greatly appreciated that's what i said shout out to uh mm-hmm. shout out to your guardian angel for doing that um i appreciate it i definitely appreciate that you got home safe and listen uh, you know yeah. i said this i said this before uh i said this before and i i will say it again um i in the same group there was a young lady that made a post about what she should take and everything and everybody was given their you know opinion you know when you when you put it out there everybody and their mama has an opinion about something all right okay. so basically what i did what i what i did and what I do is I cater to I, I cater to new jacks. You know, I cater to new people like yourself. And okay. you guys coming into this industry really don't know what's going on. You know. So what I try to do is try to bring information for you guys, you know, so that y'all can get versed okay. in here. So Next time, all right, this is what you do. Yeah. Next time. Number one, don't take a lot of shit with you. All right. That's 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 number one. You 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 if the company tells you, hey, bring this, that, this, that, and the third, no, no. All you need is a duffel bag, a backpack, and uh and your hygiene bag. That's it. Your backpack is for your computer, for your notebook, your pens, pencils, and all that other stuff that you may need. Your duffel bag is for your clothes. As far as your clothes go, depending on how long you're going to be out over the road. If you're going to be out over the road for about a month, you know, bring about, you know, probably about five, maybe five pair of pants, a coat. A uh, lot of socks, a lot of underwear, because I know how you ladies like to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so a lot of socks, a lot of unders, a lot of underwear. Being that it's going into the winter, winter time, you're gonna, you know, maybe lead, need like a couple of hoodies or whatever, because you can wash your clothes on the road. Um, you yeah. know, you you can wash your clothes on the road. So you 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 don't need to pack. You don't need to pack heavy. Because all your all your bags and stuff is gonna be with you on that top bunk anyway, so you don't need to bring everything nope. in the kitchen sink. That's for starters. All right, that's number one. Number two, make sure you have a credit card. Uh, if you don't have one, go ahead and apply for one. Mate, you can you can get you can get these secondhand credit cards that offer you five hundred uh, five hundred dollars start credit limit. A thousand dollar start credit limit. Make sure you you know you grab grab one of those. And the reason why you need a credit card is because of the situation that you was in. You wasn't able to get home. You wasn't able to rent a car to get you home. You wasn't you wasn't able to you know you you wasn't able to do what you needed to do with a credit card. Right. Not not a debit card. A credit card. Because a debit card, they they you, you got to go through hoops with a debit card, you know the the rent a car, uh, a credit card. They'll 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 take your credit card, they'll take the money out uh, for the car. You able to pack up, and you able and you able to leave. All right, that's number two. Number three, last and foremost, is on the on the low end. At least three hundred dollars. That's on the low end. At least, all right. At least three hundred dollars on the low end. On the high end, five. And wonder why I say that. That'll be for your food. That'll be for whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do, you'll have some money, and you won't have to be. You won't have to be subjected to the company. You know, waiting on a paycheck waiting on 25 fucking dollars or anything like that you'll have some money that'll last you for at least a good couple of weeks while you you know while you still getting paid but you'll have some money all right 
Um, right. And yeah, that that's that's all you need to remember, man. Because see, what these companies do, they 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 feed you wolf tickets. You know, yeah, we'll get yeah. you here. We'll get you here. We'll get you here by plane, train, or automobile. Nine times out of ten, if it's CR England, it's a fucking bus. You know, a fucking yeah. greyhound. Oh, make sure you bring, you know, bring what you need. You can bring a everything. In the, in, no, no, you don't. Because if you get in a situation like yours, you, you're going to be messed up. You got all that stuff. You, you're going to be messed up. Yeah. So with that said, in order not to be in that predicament again, take, you know, take take heed of my advice or what I just, you know, what the tips I just gave you, you know, mm -hmm. so that you'll never be stranded. You'll never be stranded and you'll never be fucked because you already have you already have the, the information that lockout men just gave you and you'll be good. So the next yeah, company, I the next, you. the next company that you decide to get with, you know, take your, take a little bit of, take a little bit of break because I know this is a lot to process. Yo, your grandmother passed, <laughs> yo, yo, you, you had this bullshit with this company. Make sure you get a little bit of woosa and then, <laughs> I am. then get back to, you know, get back to your research. If you need to reach out to me, you got my number. You got my contact. If you need to know whatever company, because I call just about every company out here, you know, make sure you subscribe to my channel, uh, Lockout Man Podcast on YouTube. I called, I, I did okay. calls for five years strong, and I'm still making calls. I'm calling people, calling people on the Facebook. I'm calling people, you know, I'm calling people all over to get the information that you guys need so that y'all can make a, uh, a value decision on uh, on the company that you might want to get with. Now, unfortunately, being that you're still a new jack, only companies that's, you know, I'm not going to say only companies because there are some small companies that will take you in. But, you know, mm. when you when you look for like uh, a major company and all like that, I'm honestly going to say look towards Prime. I'm honestly gonna say that, even though I'm not, even though I'm not a fan of Prime, but you know, I applied for some reason they denied my application. Was that doing? Was that during your CDL process or after your CDL process? After. Oh. They didn't give me an explanation. They just said at this time they weren't interested in my application. So. Wow, Prime. That's. Wow, that's you know, we need a conversation, Prime. You you don't need to be turning away drivers right now for what from the conversation that I have with one of y'all recruiters. <laughs> you don't need to be doing that. Um try companies like Rail, Snyder. Um I, I you know, I talked to some drivers that had some moderate success with Snyder. Um even okay. though with Snyder, now I'm gonna if you decide if you decide with Snyder, I am gonna let you know this. Snyder is gonna is gonna redo all the all, all you got your license, but they're gonna redo all that stuff over again. Snyder is like fucking boot camp. So which is a which is a good thing. Which is a good thing because yes. Snyder, you know, Snyder is is one hundred for safety. So they're gonna go. They yeah. they're gonna go one hundred from top to bottom before you even get in the truck. So, but I like I said, I I have but talked I to people. Mm -hmm. I have talked to people that that had some moderate was moderate success with Snyder. Uh, Rail will be another company to look into. I I'm gonna say Swift, even though a lot of people. Even though a lot of people talk bad about Swift, Swift is not that bad. I mean, basically, what you want to do with Swift is get in, get your experience, and get out. That's what you want to do with Swift. All right. Um, U.S. Express variant. Well, no, I think variant. You're gonna need like three, about three, four months. 
But what U.S. Express, the parent company, you can you 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 can get in there right away, and then you can switch after three four months with them, you can switch over to Variant. Um, I want to say K L L M, but I'm not too I'm not too sure about them. But the mm-hmm. comp the the trucking companies that I just mentioned, yeah, give give them a try. And you know you you probably might be a little bit more successful with that, and then and and like I said, you know, in order for you not to be in that situation no more, pack light, get yourself a credit card, and um, and at least have about on a you know on the low end between two three hundred dollars and on a high end five hundred dollars. Don't 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 let these truck don't let these recruiters talk you into uh talk you into another situation like that make sure you ask the questions that need to be asked make sure you get the answers that need to be answered and if you have to you know have them to put that put some of that shit down in writing and uh make sure that make sure that you're going to be all right because you got you know this is this is exciting times but it's also crazy times too because you know, again, like I said, anything liable to happen to you up there, man. I mean, yeah. you know, and it's just and it's just unfortunate that you had to go through all that shit just to just to get back home. Home. We can't get you home. That's some yeah. bullshit. That's some bullshit. Don't never let no don't never let no company tell you, oh, we oh, you can't go home or we can't go or we can't get you home. No nah, shit. If they telling you that they can't get you home or you can't go home, imagine if you was actually driving for the company and you needed to go home. And they'll turn around and be like, Yeah. They'll turn around and be like, Oh no, nah, we can't get you home. Uh we don't have no freight going that way. No. Nah. When I wanna go home Exactly. When I wanna go home, I wanna go home. So uh, Kina, I, you know, like I said, yo, I, I appreciate you and everything that you do. Keep it up and all like that. Keep your head up. Stay strong. And um, thank you. No, no doubt. No, thank you for sharing your story with us. I, I really do. Uh, I really do appreciate that. No problem. I'm hoping it's just like on other people getting into this industry before they go to that company. Weigh all your options is my advice. I I, I would say no. <laughs> I, I would can, say no. I, but I, I would say person, no. I know. I would too, but you know, a person's going to make up their own mind. Mm-hmm. And nobody knows that it's nothing get, i'm not I, i'm a i could be a a person who just mad at cr england so they're gonna make up their own mind mm-hmm. but i i didn't go in there with my my butt on my back i wasn't disrespectful i went to every class on time i wasn't a problem child or nothing they had no reason to treat me this way it was even one time where the class leon christy thought i wasn't in class and and she said out loud in front of the whole class, and she wondered why she can't get it. And then I spoke up. But it's just the fact that if I wasn't there, that is what you think of me. Because I came to you and said, I need help because they're not showing me these things. Hmm. Like I said, man, this, 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 this company is 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 the worst when it when it when it comes to uh when it comes to new drivers i i I don't phantom that they do this to their to their veteran drivers that comes in there or i don't even think i don't even think a veteran driver would even let that happen to them so for them to to treat you know brand new drivers like like yourself like you know like you guys is garbage and pieces of shit that's not even cool that's that's not even cool yeah and again it's 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 
it's a wonder because like I said, I, I talked to plenty of guys that 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 had some successes with C R England and and some guys that had some that had some uh that had some uh you know that had some fucked up you know fucked up experiences with C R England. I mean I'm just gonna have to put it out there, you know. C R England, you you gonna hate me for this, but just go there for your license. That's it. Go there for your license and leave. That's it. That's that's all they're good for is 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 for the CDL training. And from the information that 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 you just said about them, it's not even that. So it just no. it's 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 it just you know they 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 put you in like cattle like. Yo, let's just hurry up and get them out there. Shoot, get get them in like cattle, and and then send them out to the wolves and let the and let the wolves handle it. What happened if you get into exactly. a situation? What happened if you get into an accident? What happened if what what happened if you get lost? You know, use your atlas. Uh, for a person that ain't never seen an atlas before, they're gonna have to teach them how to use it. They don't sound like oh, they don't even no. do that. They don't. So I, I'm, they really don't. I'm just gonna say, just fuck it. Just just get your CDL from them, and uh, excuse me, and uh, and and try to find somewhere else to go to. Because, like I said, I talked to a few drivers that even got past the CDL. And they and they actually started driving the truck. Shit, their money wasn't even right with right right with that. Uh, right. twenty cent, twenty two cent. I might be wrong. Don't quote me. No, you're not. Don't quote me on you're that. Not. But I'm I'm just saying from what I heard, you know, like it's 23, 23 the, the the pay for new drivers is crap. Yeah. So. But see, it wasn't safe for me, you know, so I had every intention. I, I knew going in the money wasn't what other ones was offering. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I thought I would take my lashes, you know, stick it out. But I never thought they would do anything like I experienced. Well, hopefully you don't have to experience that again. Um, if you definitely need some help. Or anything like that. I am I am only but a phone call away, an email away, a DM away. Uh, reach out to me. You know, if you find a company that you're interested in and and you have some reservations about, and you want me to call them to to get that information for you, let let me know, and I'll I'll go ahead and do that. And um, and Thanks. you know, if you have anything else that that you would like for you know like for me to do you know lock out men by you know like i said just get at me and uh i i will try to i will try to help you along the way thank you i appreciate that no doubt no doubt all right that's uh so what uh, that wow <laughs> great conversation <laughs> man i mean like i said it's very very impactful very emotional very powerful it's so awesome. Thank yeah. you very much for sharing, man. That's that's uh for giving that's, me the opportunity. That, that, you welcome. You welcome. Anytime. Anytime you need it. Anytime. All right. Well, I'm gonna go in and let you get back, you know, try to get your get your sanity back together. I know your kids, you know, know your kids is waiting on you and your and your husband. Uh, you know, it's glad to yeah. have you back. So, um so yeah, let's uh let's Let's get some woosah going and then uh you know then you know try to try to get back at it. And like I said, I take am. take the valuable tips that I gave you and, and the companies that I told that I told you to reach out to and see what they say. I will, thank you. All right, Kina, you take Kina, right? Yeah, Kina. <laughs> I told you I was gonna beat it up. <laughs> All right, you take it easy and I, I I don't be no stranger. You you're a citizen. You're definitely a citizen, man. So whenever you need me, just reach out to me and I'll, I'll be right there. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. You take it easy. You have a good day. 
You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.